name is Black Anola. Welcome back to another League of Legends video. Today we're going to talk about a new development that's going on in the League of Legends community. Riot has just announced, get this, Sandbox. After all the years, people complaining about a need to be able to practice abilities, skill shots, rotations, all that good stuff. Now we're going to have a little, little mode where we can do all of that and hopefully simplify the way we play League of Legends and we can all get better. We can record footage a little better to demonstrate abilities. We can practice flashing over the wall without having to wait five minutes every single time. We can, we can have infinite gold to buy all the items that we need to and not have to wait 30 minutes to farm up. So this, this, <laughs> this is what we, this is what we've been asking for and we're going to finally get it. And I'll tell you why it's important for a few reasons. Now, there's a link in the description that'll tell you to the official news announcement. You know, they'll tell you, hey, when can we expect this? What are some of the things that you're going to be able to see in this mode? And uh, that'll be in the description. Now, Riot has been awesome and let people know that, hey, you know, uh, we screwed up. We said that people didn't need this to play League of Legends and now we're finding out that people actually do want this. And so we're going to we're going to give that to you. Now, if you've been watching all the League news lately, uh, they even talked about having replays and other crazy stuff. And this is just there's soon there's not going to be anything to complain about. So this is great news for League of Legends fans. Now, if we look at the web page, um, their focus is it's a tool to master and improve your skills, which is what holds a lot of people back in League, including me, from playing to the best of my ability. Now, currently, the only way that you can practice right now is if you go into a custom game and farm with a bot or farm with a friend. But sometimes bots are not great because they do the same things every time. You can't depend on them to, to do what you need them to do at the right times. Also, with friends, sometimes people just don't have 50 minutes to sit around and farm with you. I know I don't. I just want to get in there and play. Now, every single competitive game that I've played, whether it be fighting games or anything that requires going head to head with somebody, you're allowed to go into a free mode and kind of just do whatever you want, especially fighting games. That's kind of the description that I take away from that, the comparison I can draw right to there. And the fact that League of Legends doesn't have something like that really leaves the practice potential lacking. I think there are a lot of people that could benefit sitting around in practice mode and just, hey, repeat this until you don't screw it up anymore. I mean, any type of sports, basketball, baseball, it's all about repetition. Repetition eventually leads to mastery. And hopefully, this tool will allow people like me who are silver or whatever rank you are to level up their skills and not fall victim to stupid shit at level one. Oh, if I had just remembered my training, I wouldn't have died to that ribbon combo, or I would have been able to flash over that wall. Uh, you know, being able to never fail flash again, I mean, imagine that. That's a pretty good thing to look forward to. Anyway, some of the things that they're teasing about, because the tool isn't available yet, but it will be available sometime in 2017. Infinite gold, which is great because gold is hard to come by. Um, if you don't last hit minions, then you're going to be really starved for gold. So yeah, you can... You can last hit minions for 40 minutes, and that's something you can always do, but that's not the one skill that uh, people should be focusing on. Resetting your cooldowns. Now, there are some champions with game-changing abilities and ultimates that, you know, allow them to change the tide of a game, but they're tied to super, super high cooldowns. Now, you'll be able to do your Riven combo without having to wait 9 seconds at level 1, or you'll be able to throw that Nami ult down, or practice Janna Typhoon so that... You can push people back, see where they get pushed back through, and not have to worry and waiting, waiting, waiting. Like, the time that is spent waiting for cooldowns to come back up and waiting for gold to come back up, that's really the huge detractor from this. So having infinite gold will allow you to buy items, just whatever you want. Resetting your cooldowns will allow you to stop waiting. Locking your level. So, as you know, you gain experience in League of Legends passively just by minions dying, turrets going down, but sometimes you want to stay at a level. All right, I've hit my level nine power spike. These are the items that are available to me. This is the combo that I could do, but I don't want to level up because that'll get you out of the controlled area uh, that you want to practice in to become better. So being able to lock your level will be very helpful for doing that. Also, freezing minion spawns. I can see that will be good so that you can Hey, I don't want to fight in a bunch of minions. I don't want minions to worry about screwing up my tower aggro. So interesting things could be could be done from that. And the thing that just people need is to be able to sit in like a gym. Imagine a boxing gym, hidden speed bag. All right, that shit is harder than it looks. But it teaches you focus. 
it teaches you repetition, it teaches you all the things you need to do to be able to not miss a beat when you're in the ring, and hopefully that this will solve the same thing in League of Legends also. Now they're still figuring out a list of features, stuff to add. Um, I've been fortunate enough to see the professional Riot sandbox where they can, it's basically God mode for League of Legends, but I don't think we're gonna get anything like that. I mean, you can literally do whatever you want. You can spawn extra champions. Basically the stuff that you see in champion spotlight videos, that's like the God mode toolbox. So hopefully we'll get something like that later in the future. Now, um, another thing, hopefully, uh, we'll be able to max out experience. That's, an, that's a feature I would want to add now. If you look at this graph right here, one of the other biggest things is trying to reach a level at a certain point. Now, to reach level two, it doesn't really take that long. It's only a couple of minion waves or killing a champion first. Now, as the game goes on and the champion that you're killing repeatedly is worth less and less gold, you're not going to be able to uh, benefit from killing that champion. You know, there's diminishing returns on that. And minion waves, you know, they spawn every 30 seconds, but, you know, that takes time. That's it's a lot of experience. And that's something that I, as someone who has a full-time job and only the occasional time to throw out YouTube videos, <clears throat> this tool is going to be awesome. So I really hope that they add some form of tweaking experience that, hey, I want to start the game and start out just as, like, just as level 11. You know, that's when I, that's when I, hit one power spiker, uh, level nine, or even level 18, when I'm done the game, I'm maxed out, I want all my items, this is really something that I think that people would uh, would be able to experience in a positive light. So hopefully they add that, we'll see what happens. Anyway guys, that's the news for today. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the video and I hope you're excited about sandbox mode and what other stuff they'll try and tease and talk about. Soon Reddit's not gonna have anything to complain about. So yeah, memes, they'll just have to make new ones. Guys, make sure you subscribe so that you find out more League news from the Chocolate Man himself. Give me 10 minutes and I'll give you the world. Make sure you subscribe for more and like the video. If you end up liking the video, leave a comment. Tell me what you would like to see in Sandbox Mode. And until the next Black and Old video, peace out, Girl Scouts. See you later.